Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 with Brackets video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We're going to continue with our site build and in this little video we're going to add some more text here and a few columns and we're going to explore some of the new padding and margin classes that Bootstrap 4 has. So let's open our Brackets text editor that we've been using. And for those of you who haven't been following, uh, Brackets is a fantastic text editor. It's free and you can find the link below this video. And for our purposes, we've been using an extension or a couple of extensions. If you hit File and go down to Extension Manager. It shows us the available extensions, ones we've got installed already under the Install tab. We've been using uh, Bootstrap 4 snippets. You can just search for it under the available if you haven't got it and install it. And another great one we've been using for this project is the RCH Bootstrap, Bootstrap 4 snippets here. Again, you can just search for it under available and install it. They're, they're all free. For this particular one, we're going to be using Bootstrap 4 snippets. And if we hit the more info, it'll take us to their site. And if we scroll down, here's a list of some nice little quick shortcuts we're going to use. We can use uh, in this particular video, we're going to use the three columns example, which is Control Shift and E. So let's go back to our brackets. Can close that down. Now I want to add three columns, so let's just drop down and use that shortcut Control Shift and E. I believe it was. There we go, and it's automatically given us a row with three columns inside of it. Don't need that container. I'm actually going to just copy this div. With brackets, when you select the opening div, it'll show you where the closing div is, so you can grab the whole element. I'm just going to grab that and put it in the container that's above. Control c to copy. And then just drop down one from our little div that we've got with our paragraph text in it and just insert that there and let's just tidy this up a little bit I'm just going to hit the tab key so we move our columns over now I can delete what we just loaded here so we've now got three empty columns just below our little text element here if we look back at our site Here's our little text element with some text in it. And let's just put our own title in. Of course, you can delete this if you don't want it. And we'll just save that. Let's just add a little more text to this one. And we'll use our Lorem Ipsum dummy text. Again, Lorem Ipsum dummy text is what us web designers use for putting text in spaces where we've got nothing to put in there, just so we can see what it actually looks like with text in there. Now I'm just going to add this. Let's just add this on the end of here to make it a bit larger. Now, if you see here, we've got a, a break, a line break. Uh, it's just BR in between a couple of those pointy brackets. And what that does is drop down a line because even though you may have line breaks in your text that you put in here, the browsers won't read that. It'll just read it as one long line unless you put a break in there. So I'm just going to remove that and I'll show you exactly what I mean in a moment. So we'll delete that. And let's just save it back to our site and should have updated our heading and our little paragraph text underneath so let's just refresh there we go and because I took that break out let's put it inside our little element here let's just have a look at our element 
there's our element and it's filled it out now if we wanted to break that text up a little bit say I wanted it to have a new line where it says whatever that says <laughs> curabita we can put that break back in there so there's that curabita and we can just insert a break if we need to and save and back to the site now when we refresh that should drop down to a new line there we go that's starting on a new line now um, so that's an easy way of, of, of separating your text there obviously you can put your text in separate divs that will do the same thing let's just uh, go back here and put some text in between here so we're going to use some paragraph text which is P and let's just copy a bit of this text here it really doesn't matter I don't want too much just a line or two and then copy the whole thing again to the next column drop down one and to the next one drop down one now we should have three lines of text below here quick save back to the site refresh just close that inspector and now we've got three columns of text just below our main heading here and if you notice this text is a lot larger than this text it's because it's got a class I believe it the class was lead if we inspect it and look at it either right click on it or just hit the F12 key and yeah there it says class of lead and if we look at that class it says the font size is 1.25 rem now we explained last time a rem is a basic size of your default p font or <laughs> paragraph font which in is by default in bootstrap is 16 picks uh, you can change that but everything with a rem spacing if you change it will be affected so this is 16 times 1.25 one and a quarter so four fours are 16 so that's 20 picks um, now if we wanted our little column text to be the same size as this we could just give it the class of lead if I go back and give these the class class equal lead and what I want to do is just copy this we well, could have just copied it from up here if you wanted to um, and paste it in the other boxes here now save that if we go back now this text should be the same size as that do a quick refresh let's get rid of the inspector there now our text is the same size and it looks like we copied that line break we don't want that break in there let's get rid of that now to me that's a bit too large and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take the class off of this upper one as well so it's all the same size there save now if we go back this should all shrink down to that smaller text size the default paragraph font size and let's get rid of that line break there as well Ooh, these have not shrunk back let's have a look see what's going on here we need to take these away the classes that we just put in just now and we took those breaks away and I want to take that line break away there as well and save that control s back to our site and quick refresh there we go that's more like I wanted to see 
Now let's give these columns a title. And all we need to do, for those of you who've been following, uh, you know our headings or our titles are start with H1, which is the largest by default, and go down all the way to H6, which is the smallest. And as you go higher in number, this makes the text smaller. So we're going to give it an H2, heading 2. And let's give this... Kind of started in the middle here, that's okay, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll call this one fish, as this is a restaurant based thing. And we'll copy that, drop down, and we'll do the same thing here. Okay, and we'll call the first one meat. Well, let's get, call it prime meat. A little district fresh fish and local vegetables. Okay, so now we should have headings in all of those columns there. Quick save back to the site. There we go, there's our headings. Now, if we wanted to make this text all centered instead of a line left as it is now, we can just add text centered to each of these columns here. In fact, we can just add it to that row and it should filter down and add it to all of those columns without having to do it to all three. So let's try that text centered and save back to the site. Now when we refresh this should center all of our headings and also all of our content here. Similar way to it is up here. There we go. So there we have it. That is how to easily add three columns of text to your Bootstrap 4 website. I hope you found that useful. If you have please subscribe to our YouTube channel below. If you're interested in web development, we have some great courses down below also. We have huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. We've also got some fantastic free courses down there, so check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.